Boxes hold information about the things in our pipelines. In this lesson, we'll explore what a box really is, what's inside of a box, and how to work with our boxes as we move them forward in a process. When we're looking at one of our pipelines, each box is displayed as a row. A box in a sales pipeline is typically a sales lead, but it could also represent a candidate in a hiring pipeline or an investor in a fundraising pipeline. That's all to say, a box can represent anything we're tracking in our pipelines, and we can create pipelines and boxes for any kind of process. Each column in the pipeline holds information about that box, like which stage it's in, who it's assigned to, contact and email data, as well as other details that we want to track. Open a box by clicking the Go to Box icon to the left of the box name. This takes us to the box view. The box view not only shows us important information, but it's also our workspace to manage this lead and collaborate with our team. Let's take a look at all of the information that we have here. The most important information is up here in the top right. This shows us what stage the box is in and who it's assigned to, which gives us context about this box. The toolbar across the top of the box gives us some basic info and actions for each box. From left to right, we have the pipeline name, which we can click to go back to the pipeline view, and the box name. The follow-up button creates a task for a generic reminder to follow up with our contact on a certain date. We can see who's following this box and adjust our follow preferences with the bell icon. Following a box means we'll get notifications if our teammates make any changes to the box, so we can keep tabs on updates when we're collaborating. Finally, the link icon lets us share a direct link to this box with our teammates. The folder with an arrow lets us move the box to another pipeline, and of course, the trash can icon deletes the box. The arrow at the far right lets us scroll through boxes in our pipelines without leaving the box view. Now that we've explored the toolbar, let's dive into more specific details of this box. On the right side of the box view, we can see all of the information from our pipeline columns, starting again with the stage and who the box is assigned to. This is the same information that we saw in our pipeline view, arranged by column type. Custom columns allow us to track anything we want about our leads and enter the information manually. Contact columns hold all of our contacts and organizations, so we can store their contact information and reach out with shortcuts. Magic columns are special because Streak automatically fills them in for us. We can automatically track things like the date of the last email with our contacts, how many emails we've exchanged in total, how many days this box has been in the current stage, and more. We don't have to enter any of this information. Streak updates it in real time to give us even more insight in our pipelines. Check out our deep dive video on column types to learn more about the different things we can track in our pipelines. Now that we're familiar with these column sections, we can move them around based on what's most important to us and customize the view to be just how we like it. We can even add pipeline columns from here if we need to track a new set of information. The left side of the box shows us the activity timeline. This shows any content and updates that have been added to the box, including our team's emails with our contacts and organizations, files, comments, and more. As we share emails or add content to the box, it will all appear in the timeline here. Use the window at the top of the timeline to add a comment for a team member, or record an offline conversation in a call log or meeting note. We can also create more specific tasks and assign them to anybody on our team. Check out our video on tasks to learn more about managing follow-up and making sure nothing slips through the cracks. Now that we've had a tour of the box view, we can see the box is our workspace to find all of our information and collaborate with our team. Most importantly, it allows us to store all of our information in one place and move it through a pipeline. As we continue adding to our boxes, we'll find the information in our pipeline columns. We'll also be able to tap into box information when we're looking at an email that's been added to this box. The inbox label shows me that this email has been added to a box in my wholesale coffee sales pipeline. When I open the email, I have all of this box information in the Streak sidebar. This is one of the ways that Streak makes sure you have all the information you need as you work with your contacts in Gmail. If we learn something new in an email, we can update the box from the sidebar, or we can jump to the box view to find all of our information and add content.
Learn more about working with our boxes in the following lessons.